The idea is to dump calcium carbonate, basically chalk dust, high into the stratosphere to block some of the sun's rays with the hope of stopping the climate from warming. It's called stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI. The media likes to say it's Bill Gates' idea, but Gates is only one of many people funding the research, and it isn't his idea, it's Harvard's. The test launch for the project next month in Sweden was canceled after people complained. But there's likely to be a test in the future, because some scientists think this could work, while others say it's a very bad idea. This video from a German science foundation shows how it could all go terribly wrong. It is unlikely that cooling of the planet could be achieved in a uniform way. SAI would therefore produce regional winners and losers. The total global rainfall would be less. In Asia, SAI could upset the complex system governing the monsoon, on which the water and food supply of two billion people depends. It could also lead to droughts in Africa and flooding in Latin America. Experts admit they aren't sure what would happen if the sun was dimmed, but we know that when it's happened because of natural events, the result was not good. The year 1816 in the United States was called the year without summer, or 1800 and froze to death. Scientists now believe it was a volcanic winter created by a huge eruption in the South Pacific. As volcanic ash circled the globe, a strange fog began to appear in the eastern United States, and the month of June suddenly saw freezing winter-like temperatures that wiped out crops and livestock and led to famine. Could the same thing happen from stratospheric aerosol injection? Jens Olaf Pepka Peterson, senior scientist at Denmark's National Space Institute, doesn't think so. The advantage is that aerosols wouldn't stay in the atmosphere for a long time, so if it turns out it's a bad idea, it would be easy to stop the experiment again. But he also doesn't think manipulating the climate is either good or necessary. Scientists know the Earth has warmed one degree since 1900, but admit they don't know the normal Earth temperature, or if we are simply rebounding from a cold period 200 years ago called Little Ice Age. And while the Earth is warming, Peterson says humans and plants both do better in warmer weather than in colder weather. And, and there are still more people dying from cold weather than from warm weather. The, the Earth has become greener, so, so trees are growing better uh, than they used to. In his new book, Unsettled, Theoretical physicist Dr. Steve Koonin, former undersecretary for science in the Obama administration, says the weather data itself shows there is no climate emergency. Heat waves in the U.S. are now no more common than they were in 1900. No global trends in drought or in floods. Greenland's ice sheet isn't melting any more rapidly now than it was 80 years ago. That there's no long-term trend in hurricanes over the last 100 years. You wouldn't know that, of course, if you just watched the media. So Kunin says we don't need to go to the trouble of spreading dust through the stratosphere. It's got a lot of downsides. Right? The most important one is once you start doing it, you can't stop. The particles settle out over a couple of years, and so you've got to keep putting them up there. We should not think about deploying it unless something really bad happens with the climate. And Kunin says the good news is that a lot of the bad news you've been reading about a climate emergency is wrong. Dale Hurd, CBN News.